Hello. Our case today is that of a middle-aged man with a mass detected incidentally in the abdomen. My name is James Brink. I am the radiologist in chief at the Massachusetts General Hospital and the Juan M. Tavares Professor of Radiology at Harvard Medical School, both here in Boston, Massachusetts. I'd like to thank Dr. Quiz Krista Suarez Weiss for contributing this case for our enjoyment today. Our clinical information is that of a middle-aged man who presents for a routine physical exam. He has a mass palpated in the right abdomen and his past medical history is unremarkable and his laboratory values are normal. An MRI examination of the abdomen was performed. Here we have transaxial images from the non-contrast enhanced T1 weighted sequence and a corresponding arterial phase uh, sequence. On the non-contrast enhanced image, we see the mass has a rather unusual shape and is primarily homogeneous in signal intensity, although with some mild heterogeneity as well. It is slightly hypo-intense overall compared to musculature. On the arterial phase uh, image, we see early peripheral enhancement, which on the portal venous phase demonstrates more nodular or globular enhancement that begins to fill in centripetally over time on the delayed phase imaging. T2 weighted imaging transaxial shows us the same mass, which is somewhat heterogeneous, predominantly hypo-intense relative to the cerebrospinal fluid, although there are a few scattered areas of hyper-intensity. On the coronal T2 weighted image, we see a small pedicle to the adjacent right lobe of the liver. My diagnosis then is that of a hepatic hemangioma with an exophytic or pedunculated nature. Differential diagnosis includes carcinoid tumor, desmoid tumor, and lymphoma. An exophytic or pedunculated hepatic hemangioma connects to the liver by a vascular pedicle. These are very rare presentations for hemangioma. They are typically detected incidentally, as in this case, although because they do reside on a pedicle, they can torse and thus infarct and cause symptoms. <clears throat> Imaging features include typical findings of a hemangioma, including peripheral globular enhancement with centripetal fill-in, and the enhancing areas should match the blood pool. Because of its exophytic nature, the mass may demonstrate the so-called beak sign with adjacent liver if it is closely opposed to the liver and thus the adjacent normal parenchyma starts wrapping around the, the mass. The vascular pedicle with a feeding artery and draining vein may be difficult to visualize, but if one can confirm this pedicle, that of course confirms the diagnosis. Differential diagnosis includes carcinoid tumor, but these occur mostly in the GI tract and the clinical presentation and biologic behavior can aid in the diagnosis. Desmoid tumors are locally aggressive tumors with tendency to recur. Imaging appearance depends very much on the tissue that predominates. These include spindle cells, collagen, and myxoid matrix. And in this respect, the rather atypical T2 appearance of not being quite as bright as uh, some other hemangiomas probably reflects different, differing degrees to which non-vascular spaces uh, are comp composed the tumor, such as uh, collagen and other fibrous tissues. Lymphoma, of course, can have a variable appearance, and these typically demonstrate uptake with FTG on PET-CT, which can differentiate from hemangioma. Here are some literature references in case you wish to know more about this condition. Again, exophytic pedunculated hepatic hemangioma, a rather unusual presentation for hemangioma, but a diagnosis can be made if one can connect the tumor to the liver by its vascular pedicle. Thank you very much for your attention.